here. <laughs> you're here. Oh, thank heavens you're here. See, I've been here for, must be years, trapped. You see, I, I thought no one would ever come. <laughs> Philip Carlier, the Castile Cotton Company chief clerk. But, uh, <laughs> I'm sure you already know that, given why you're here. <laughs> my, my, I can't, can't imagine how it must look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no time for any of that. Now, if you just let me... Oh, I was so hoping for someone to share this with. Comes on rather strong the first time, does it not? <laughs> Get my hands on you. What is this? Chat, little buddy. Now you gonna give me answers? Or else I'll do something worse than just burn you up. I don't got nothing to tell. Do you? We're a large cigarette. I can burn this place up. Okay, okay. You know that woman? Who? You know that woman who want to get revenge from those people? Yeah. After she saved you from some foolishness, the agency was planning to kill her. But now, they're trying to kill you. And it looks like she's the only one to get to them. But you can't know where can I find her. I don't know. I know a person named Corden. He had Valentine. You gonna let me go, right? Just so I'm about to let you go. You one of those raiders. You know what I do to raiders? I burn them. And bring them to eternity. <laughs> hey you. You John? Who's asking? My name's Corder. I heard that that fellow person wanted me to speak to you. Yeah. And I'm assuming you know where to find that woman. Of course. Well, for some reason she's doing jobs and all that stuff. But it ain't not personal, right? What are you talking about? Ah! Now you gonna tell me who that woman is, or else I'll break your bones! Alright, alright! Her name's Mrs. LeClerc, Mrs. LeClerc. Yeah. She knows who you are. 
So you already know where she is, buddy. Yeah. A woman that is more interesting and more brings me back memories, Mrs. Leclerc. She's the one I'm supposed to help her out, but I left that time. Fun way to find that agent guy who killed my wife. She's the only lead. I gotta do a favor for her. One last time. I'm so glad you came. Thank you. It seems your efforts have not been entirely in vain. <laughs> have produced some rather surprising results. Well, not surprising, but... Confusing. Confusing. After castigating me as a, a widow, a harlot, a fool, a mad woman, anything and everything. Suddenly, shortly after we killed his brother-in-law, Amos Lansing wants to talk. He sent word via an intermediary. Mr. Jones. <sighs> Even that crazy old fool said not to trust any of it. Which is why we need you. You're to help keep Mrs. Leclerc protected during the meeting at Blackwater. I shouldn't imagine they would kill us in broad daylight, but you never know. I never imagined they'd kill my husband, nor turn me into a fugitive. Anyway, friends, shall we go? Today may go any number of ways, but I want to make sure once the shooting starts, all of them end up dead. One of you drive the wagon, the other keep guard. Thank you. All of you. This means... <laughs> well, it means something. I don't know exactly what yet, but... I don't think any of us think Mr. Lansing has become a saint, madam, but uh, perhaps we should hear him out. Perhaps. So, the meeting is this way. In the middle of town. Of course. Very good, Mr. Lansing. Tells everyone he's the boss now. Keeps me from acting too crazy. You can hide up on the roofs or stay down here. Just make sure we don't get killed. Just make sure if we do get killed, everyone dies. No, just make sure we aren't both killed. Come along, Mr. Hawley. Good luck. And thank you. They're here! Take this. I'll be back. <laughs> Let's go. Well, hello, darling. Good to see you, Mr. Lansing. You too. Jessica! How lovely to see you. Why, <laughs> it's been a, a long... long time? No, it hasn't. Not compared with all eternity. Oh, Jessica, I miss Philip every day. Awful what happened to him. Quite terrible, but you seem... <laughs> My dear, you seem under the misapprehension that I had something to do with his demise. You your wife or your business partner at least one of you did and your brother-in-law but he's dead well he was a bad man i'm glad he was killed sure it cleans up your mess doesn't it you don't seem quite well my dear i'm not i am destroyed with grief oh of course yeah life can be terrible but... well there is a business matter that we need to discuss. Mm, oh, sure there is. Well, you see, he and I had an agreement. In the event one of us dying, the other took control of the business in exchange for a nominal sum. Uh, you lie, sir. Who signed? Last year. The document lies with Mr. Shaw there. He also has your money. Five hundred dollars. My husband's property was worth a hundred times that, you thief. You murderous thief! Madam Leclerc, I will ask you to watch your manners. Uh, I have good standing in this town. Oh, you do, do you? I am a man of impeccable morality. Oh, well, then you have little to fear of death. You god-awful swine!
lab, see? You were always a live person thief. I'm not gonna miss you at all. You fool. This is a good spot. Pull up. I'll take it from here. Here are the documents, madam. They were forged. Of course they were forged. Here. I don't need to see them. No, I don't suppose you do. Although there's a... There's Grace Lansing, but she will have to wait. And also, we have to decide how we're gonna clear all our names and extricate ourselves from the mess we have uncovered. Not sure the state authorities take too kindly to revenge killings, madam. <laughs> no, I'm sure they don't. But that's a problem for another day. Because right now, that little plot is over. And my husband has been avenged. My friends, my true friends. I owe you more than words can say. Thank you. And should our paths cross again, and... Well, I'm sure they may. But right now, I need to make myself scarce. And I recommend that you all do your best not to get into too much additional trouble. That's your business. My poor husband. He deserves so much better than this, but this is what he got. This is what we all got. Drive on, Mr. Holy. After that analysis, she let me a know. I know where I can find some people at Tall Trees, called the Moonshiners. She told me that the old lady knows about the agent, the person who killed my wife. If I help them, I can find them. But when I find them, I will kill him. <laughs> 